Welcome to another tutorial video regarding AB machinery and mechanization. This time, we will be solving the problem. A rice thresher was tested for threshing newly harvested rice. Tests have shown that 2000 kilos of pole was threshed in 3 hours time. The amount of loss gathered were as follows. Blower loss is 90 kilos. Separation loss is 200 kilos unthreshed loss is 50 kilos, and scattering loss is 120 kg. What are the percentages losses of the threshing equipment? What is its threshing capacity in kilogram per hour? But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to support my channel grow. To continue, we first identify our given. We have the clean threshed grain, symbolized by CT, to be 2000 kilograms. The time to be 3 hours, the blower loss, symbolized by LB to be 90 kilograms, the separation loss, symbolized by LSE, to be 200 kilograms, the unthreshed loss, with a symbol of LU to be 50 kilograms, and the scattering loss symbolized by LSC to be 120 kilograms. The required in the problem were the percentage loss and the capacity in kilograms per hour. After identifying the given and the required in the problem, we proceed with our solution. The first value that we are going to solve is the value of our percentage losses. To solve for the values, we have to solve for the total loss first. To solve for total loss, with a symbol of LT, we simply add, blower loss, plus separation loss, plus unthreshed loss, plus scattering loss. We substitute values and we have, blower loss of 90 kg, plus separation loss of 200 kg, plus the unthreshed loss of 50 kg, plus the scattering loss of 120 kg. We simply add and we have a value for our total loss to be 460 kg. We will be using this to solve for the value of our percentage losses. The first loss that we are going to solve is the value for our blower loss. To solve for blower loss, we will be using the formula, blower loss in percentage is equal to 100 multiplied to the quotient of blower loss in kilograms all over the sum of the clean threshed grain, added to the total loss, both in kilograms. We substitute values and we have, 100 times 90 kilograms all over, 2000 kilograms plus 460 kilograms. We simply solve and we have a final value for our blower loss in percentage to be 3.6585%. The next value that we are going to solve is the value for our separation loss in percentage. The formula is 100 multiplied to the quotient of separation loss in kilograms all over the sum of the clean threshed grain, added to the total loss, both in kilograms. We substitute values and we have, 100 times 200 kilograms all over, 2000 kilograms plus 460 kilograms. We simply solve and we have a final value for our separation loss in percentage to be 8.1301%. The next value that we are going to solve is the value for our unthreshed loss in percentage. The formula is 100 multiplied to the quotient of unthreshed loss in kilograms all over the sum of the clean threshed grain, added to the total loss, both in kilograms. We substitute values and we have, 100 times 50 kilograms all over, 2000 kilograms plus 460 kilograms. We simply solve and we have a final value for our separation loss in percentage to be 2.0325%. The next value that we are going to solve is the value for our scattering loss in percentage. The formula is 100 multiplied to the quotient of scattering loss in kilograms all over the sum of the clean threshed grain added to the total loss, both in kilograms. We substitute values and we have, 100 times 120 kilograms all over, 2000 kilograms plus 460 kilograms. We simply solve and we have a final value for our separation loss in percentage to be 4.8780%. Finally, let us solve for our capacity in kilograms per hour. To solve for its value, we will be using the formula, 
capacity is equal to weight all over time. We substitute values and we have, capacity is equal to 2000 kilograms all over 3 hours. We simply divide giving us a final answer of 666.6667 kilograms per hour. That is now the solution to our problem. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell before you exit.